Hi, and welcome to another PowerShell quick tip video. This is another quick tip with Active Directory um, and definitely very useful in a enterprise or work environment. In this quick tip, we're actually gonna be taking a look at add AD group member, but a specific parameter within it, which is member time to live. Basically what that allows you to do is do a privileged access management. It lets you add an access for someone or add them into a group, uh, which can give them access to something. And you can actually time limit that group access. Um, so if someone needs to modify something on the website and they need an administrative privileges, but normally they don't have that access, you can actually add that access for the user for let's say, 10 minutes because that's how long it's going to take for them to make the change or 60 minutes or however long that the time specified is needed you can actually specify that and active directory will automatically then remove them from the group once that time has passed so let's go ahead and let's take a look at how to actually do that in active directory all through powershell so the first thing we're going to want to do is once again just create our variables in which we put in our domain name and our username that we're gonna be using. Um, so our domain here is gonna be jacked.ca and then our employee uh, that we're gonna be modifying is going to be uh, our employee one. And then we can also say, we can even put into a variable the, the role or the group name here. So we're gonna put group name and we're gonna put that to web admin. Uh, that is a group that I have in Active Directory. Um, and just for the testing purposes, that group would be linked to some sort of control in our website to be able to administer the website with admin privileges. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at just the setup that we would need to do to actually be able to affect this member time to live. So the first thing that we actually need to do is actually enable a optional feature in Active Directory in order to be able to use this parameter. Even if you have all the requirements, if you don't turn it on, it will not work. So one of the requirements is to have your forest at a functional level of 2016 or higher. Um, so if you are still running in 2012, this will not work. You do need to have at least 2016. Um, so we can actually go ahead and do a get AD optional uh, feature. And then here we can do a filter and we can actually just apply a filter here just to get that specific one. So if we just do name dash like, and then we can say is like uh, privileged. Oops privileged and then put a star at the end here if we actually run this code uh, and that actually did not work did i miss the spell it and i did so privileged let's go ahead and let's take a look at this here um, so as we can actually see here in the forest level it does require a windows 2016 forest um, so that is really the main requirement and we can actually see that it is not enabled because in the enabled scopes here it is empty so let's go ahead and let's actually turn that on for us uh, so let's do an enable ad optional feature and then our optional feature that we want to add here is going to be the privileged access management feature. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy paste the name here from down here. And we're just going to paste that up here. Perfect. And for the scope, we are going to put the forest or configuration set. And then for the target, we're actually going to put our domain variable because we want it to affect our entire domain. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's just activate these variables here. And let's go ahead and let's enable the AD optional feature. And it's going to ask you to confirm. And we are going to want to go ahead and say, we're going to put an A, which will answer yes to all. Um, so basically what this does, though, it, it will actually turn on that feature and you cannot disable it 
um, on certain OUs. So just make sure that it is actually what you want to do. We're just going to put in A because it is what we actually want to do. And now if we do the get AD optional feature and we go ahead and look at the enabled scopes, we will actually see uh, the enabled scopes here. It is on the partitions and it is um, on all of these other sites as well. Uh, so it's enabled everywhere. So we can actually go ahead and start using this here. So let's just go ahead and let's take a look at our get AD group member here for our group name and our server here, which is going to be domain. Uh, so right now in our group, we currently have no one in our group. So that is actually perfectly fine because we are going to be adding them with a moment of time. So the first thing that we actually want to do is create a variable. I'm going to name it time. And this is going to be the variable that holds the time span value of how long you want to give the person access to. So we're going to create a new time span. Now this is where you can actually put a start and an end date. So if there's actually a specific time, let's say you get in a ticket that says this person needs access till um the first of january at one o'clock so at one o'clock that's where it ends on the first of january you can actually put the start time as as right now and then the end time as that date and then it will automatically end on that date um, but what i usually find is probably more likely to happen is they will give you a specific amount of days or a specific amount of hours or minutes that they need to actually use this access for our case, for the video, for the recording purposes, we're going to put a new time span in minutes and we're going to create a time span of one minute. And this way it is just a lot easier to actually show you guys how it is added and then removed automatically. So what we're going to do as well is we're just going to put a get date so you guys can see what time the group got added. And then we're going to go ahead and do a get date and we're going to just show you we're going to constantly execute that and see to make sure that the person is still in there or actually after the one minute it should be removed so what we're going to do is we're going to do an add ad group member our identity that we want to do is the group name and then the member that we want to add is our username and then we want a member time to live there we want to put our time span variable and then of course our server is just going to be our domain. And then all we're going to do before we actually execute this, we are just going to go ahead and uh, copy this get date again and copy the get ad group member so we can constantly go ahead and fetch that here. So if we actually run this code now, we will actually see that it is November 7th at 5.48 p.m. So if we do a get date and get AD member, we will actually see that at 548, it's just been uh, under 10 seconds. We can see that the employee is still there. We go ahead and we run it again. It still is 48. Uh, so it's still been under 20 seconds here. So we're just going to pause the recording. We're going to come back after a minute and then we should see it disappear. All right, so I think the time actually has passed by now. So let's go ahead. Let's run this code. Uh, so it is 4914. So I think it's actually just been under a, a minute here because we ran it at uh, 4826. Um, so now if we actually run it again, there it is. Now it's been exactly one minute, um, pretty much just two seconds past a minute. And now the get AD group member doesn't get me any users anymore. That one minute time span has passed and Active Directory has removed that user from being in that group. Therefore, all the accesses are also indeed removed at that point as well. So hopefully this guy, uh, this will come in handy for you guys in your work uh, for privileged access management. Or if you have a lab environment, you guys want to test it out. This is how you can actually give uh, privileged access management inside of your Active Directory. As long as you have a forest level of 2016 or higher, this will work. Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, 
please let me know in the comment section down below and I will try to answer every single one of you guys. Or if it's something that can benefit the entire community, I will make a video on it as well. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.